Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we are going to France, Bordeaux in France, and this is from the Amit Brasserie. I'm probably butchering that up. And as you can see, this is their Black New England IPA. It's coming in, as you can also see, 6% ABV and 35 IBUs. Anything else here? This brood, I think it's double dry hopped. I think, I'm just trying to work it out. Oh no, just tops, right? Yeah, okay, Citro Mosaic. It's in French and English, not double dry hopped. Nice one. Um, so water, malted barley, wheat, oats, and it's got wheat again, and then Citra, Mosaic, sugar, and yeast. So I'll put all the information for this brewery down below. It's a new brewery for me again. Um, I quite, quite like that, the, kind of the uh, hop cone coloured in the, the French national flag with a, some kind of a hat and a moustache. Onions. Um, yeah, so here we are. This is part the second beer of our Good Beer Live that we've done on the 12th of October of 2018. So thanks again to uh, Honest Brew for sending me this beer as well as my my good friends over at Hopzine and Jayco Beer. So yeah, check out the link. I'll put the link down below if you want to watch the original show. But yeah, I'm just doing my own kind of like review of each beer. So to be you my actual personal take and rating, etc. So yeah. Check out on this brew again. Uh, 15 no, get it right. £10 off your first order when you spend over £35 at Honest Brew as well as free shipping for new customers. So check them out. They've got all the latest stuff coming in and out all the time. It's just really good. Beer in a glass. So it's a slight kind of murky. As you can see like a tinge brown around the outside of the of the uh, the beer. Try and generate a little bit of a head on this. Not really. It didn't really produce much of a head when I originally poured it into the glass. Um, one thing I did notice originally it was quite carbonated and it looks like it's died down a little bit so it'd be interesting to see what this beer actually tastes like in a minute but first let's get an aroma so you're getting the, the kind of a roasted malt there's a slight sweetness what like, like an oranginess to it it's not it's not like overpowering the aroma or anything like that. It's quite mellow. I mean it's definitely at room temperature now this beer. Maybe a touch of chocolate from the roasted malt. Yeah, chocolate orange, I'll get a little bit of chocolate orange. Let's give it a taste anyway. Cheers. Yeah, and that carbonation has settled down quite significantly um, from like an hour or two ago. Say an hour ago. Um, there's a there's a slight kind of yeah an orange zestiness to it. Roasted malts, a little bit of dark fruit, not too much. Maybe a little bit of um, yeah, black currant or something like that. Chocolate. bit of um, yeah orange peel that sort of thing not too much it's all very subtle but yeah this is tasting better now than it did when we actually done the show for me for my palate where it is now it's only my second beer my first beer day in 34 days so I'm batch reviewing all three beers at the same time so yeah by the time you send this I've had a few more beers since so Mm. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, as I said, not had nothing from this brewery before. Uh, these are guys are out of Bordeaux. I'll put any kind of links down below. I don't think they're across all social media platforms. Um, I know they're on um, they're on Facebook at least, and I think they might be on Instagram. But check down below. I'll do a bit of research and put it there like I do. Um, in terms of a rating, then for me, um, I've had. I've had worse black IPAs. Uh, I don't know why they called it a New England black IPA, but whatever. Um, and I've certainly had better as well. 
putting that out there. Um, so in terms of rating, then I think I'm going to give this. I'm going to throw it in around about the, the six and a half kind of range. So a three point two five out of five for the untapped scale. Um, yeah, it's okay. I'd like to try something else from this brewery. Maybe one of their IPAs, Imperial IPAs, or something like that, or maybe one of their stouts. I think that that would be quite interesting just to see how these guys go. But yeah, new brewery for me, as I've said about three times already. Um, and hopefully I can get my hands on some more and, and see what they're like as well. So anyway, over to the scores on untapped then. Um, it's not had too many uh, total check-ins, uh, 101 and then 29 in the last 30 days. And this beer has been around since the 10th of August of 2018, so not too long at all. Uh, 87 ratings, coming in at 3.37, so I'm giving it a 3.25. Round about the same kind of ballpark, and that's it. 35 IBUs, as it says. Sometimes beers, lower, a OB, lower IBUs can taste more bitter and vice versa. The bigger IBU count don't taste that bitter at all. It's just the way it is sometimes. Anyway. Let me know if you've had this one before. Interesting beer out of Bordeaux in France. Thanks for watching then. Check out on this brew again. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.